to know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Powerful. Amen. I'm not going to take your time. Amen. amen. But uh, um, our brothers have been doing a powerful job. Amen. Our pastor here has been doing a very wonderful job. Amen. Oh, shall we give a clap for amen. our pastors? Amen. And those who did a wonderful job in the worship and the praise. Amen. But you see, one thing that I really want to share really quickly, amen, before our pastor takes the mic, amen, is that one of the things that you notice in this day and age and in this dispensation is that you have carnal Christians trying to fight the spiritual devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Open with me really quickly, amen, to Ephesians chapter 10, amen. I'm going to make this really quickly, amen. Oh, are you guys there? Yeah. Powerful. Ephesians chapter, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. It says that, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Somebody said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. It says, but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, mm -hmm. against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Come on. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Come on. Amen. Uh -huh. You see, ladies and gentlemen. The fact of the matter is that as our brother was telling us, you are a carnal person. But in order for you to fight the devil, you must become a spiritual person. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You cannot win the devil at his game. You cannot beat him at his game. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? If you are not spiritual. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Let's say, for example, I'm a football player. You uh -huh. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm on offense. You get what I'm saying? And I'm trying to, let's say I'm a football player and I'm trying to play another sport in order to achieve a certain level of greatness. Mm -hmm. But I have never ever played that sport before. But all my life, as my brother was saying, I have only played football. It is not going to work. Amen. You must go into the arena. You must become a person who learns that trade. Mm -hmm. You must become a person who learns that skill. You must become a person who masters the ability to play that sport. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. In order to become like one of them and in order to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. The same way, in order to be able to beat the devil who is trying to come at us in this day and age, you must become a spiritual Christian. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But one of the things that you notice in the church is that we have a lot of carnal Christians who go to church every single day, but they are not spiritual. Mm. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm going to be downloading some numbers. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so if I'm calling you, please pick up because it's going to be hot. Amen. Amen. We have a lot of Christians who say that, yes, I am a believer. I go to church every day. But when we look into your car, the music that is playing is Drake and Little Wayne. Mm. When we look into your lifestyle, how does it glorify God? Mm. What do you do in your life that says that I am a different person? Mm. You say you are a Christian, but yet the people, every one of your friends, the reason why they are broken their virginity is, is because of you. Mm. Jehovah. What kind of lifestyle are you living? Mm. That's a word. You are a Christian and you are being fought by uh, the enemy that is fighting you. It's a spiritual enemy. Yet you are trying to fight the battle in the physical realm. Mm. It will never happen. What a shock. <laughs> it will never happen. You will never win. So we have Christians today. You see what I'm saying? When you tell somebody in the church, get up and give me the first five books of the, of the Old Testament. They can't even do it. Mm. Mm. They can't even do it. But yet you know so much about your science books. Mm. You know so much, you know so much about your chemistries and things that they teach you in school. Mm. But yet the thing that is bringing you eternal life, you don't even know much about it. Jesus. You don't. We will know it. Mm. Wicked. You say you are a Christian, but the lifestyle that you live is so contrary to the word of God. Listen, Christianity means imitator of Christ. Mm. If you're not imitating Christ, then you're not doing it at all. Mm. Simple. If you're not sinless for Christ, then you're not doing it at all. Simple. You can't be a Christian who gets up. You're nice in the church. You're happy. You're smiling. You're laughing and everything in the church. When you come to church, oh yes, pastor, everything is going great. Bless the Lord, my God. But yet, when you go outside, you are cursing with your friends. Mm. <laughs> when you go outside, you're living a lifestyle that is so totally different from the, from the Bible. Mm. You see what I'm saying? No wonder why nobody wants to follow you to church. Mm. No wonder why nobody ever wants to follow you to church. You say that I serve a God. They look at you and they say that, listen, that's why your life is the way it is. Mm. You see, one day, right? Really quickly. One day, I was giving a friend a ride. And, I mean, the friend was giving me a ride to work. And as this guy was giving me a ride, he... I was trying to witness to him and tell him that, you know, oh, you have to give your life to Jesus Christ and whatnot. All of a sudden, he looks at me after he drops me up and he tells me that, listen, the way my life is going, it is going really good. I don't think I need Christ. As I left this car, I started thinking about what he said. And I realized that, no, 
Although he needs Christ, there is a reason why he must have said that because he was giving me a ride. You see, mm. so this guy felt as though he was better off than me. Mm. If I have such a big guy, why am I begging him for a ride? Do you see what I'm saying? Now, the same way we as Christians have become those people, we claim that we have such a big God, we claim that we are living so holy and we are so pure. But yet, when our friends look at our lifestyle, mm. it is so contrary, it's so different. Come on. So look at yourself today and ask yourself, am I a spiritual Christian or am I a carnal Christian? Mm. Come on. Work it Amen. out. Amen. I see that everybody is quiet. <laughs> it's powerful. Amen. Work it out. Am I a Christian, a spiritual Christian, or am I a carnal Christian? Mm. Work it. When we come to you, is it, is, is it the things of the world that is written all over you, or is it the Bible and scriptures that is written all over you? Work it out. Amen. The Bible says that be ye hearers of the word. Be ye, do, be ye hearers of the word and not do not deceive yourself, but also be doers of them. Mm. James chapter 122. Mm. You have heard so many scriptures since Sunday school. You grew up in the church. You know so much. But at the end of the day, none of it. We look at you and the Bible says that they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power. Mm, work it out. You have a form of godliness. You go to church, but yet you deny the power to cause you to let that out, out that godliness. Work it out. Amen. Amen. I believe that I'm talking to somebody today. Amen. Talk, talk to Do not be a hypocrite. Amen. Amen. But live for Jesus. Powerful. Amen. Are you guys blessed? Yes. Powerful. Amen. We thank you. Heavenly Father, for this short exaltation, we bless your name, O God, and we pray that may this